Today I'd like to introduce you to DeWalt's new 20 volt max brushless pole saw. The 20 volt max pole saw comes in three pieces and each piece is approximately 42 inches long so this pole saw is easily transportable. The first piece is the handle piece. The trigger on the top is for safety. There's a little catch you have to release and then you can pull the regular trigger to operate the pull saw. The second piece is the extension piece. Now this is an optional piece. This extension piece doesn't have to be put in the saw. It'll work if it's put in between the handle and the cutter piece or the pull saw will work if the extension piece is omitted. If you use the extension piece it'll give you about an extra 42 inches of reach. And then the third section is the cutting section. It has an 8 inch chainsaw end and it has a guard for pulling loose branches and so forth out of the way while you're working. Let's say you'd like to put it together without the middle extension piece. This section has grooved areas and this section has areas with a lip and you just put it together like that and then there's a sleeve piece that goes up here and screws right on and you have to screw it all the way on. Of course when you assemble it you should have the battery out of the handle area for safety. I have the 4 amp hour battery in the unit right now and it's about 7 feet long. So that would give a 6 foot person about a 11 to 12 foot reach. You would attach the extension piece to the pole saw in the same manner except there are two connections instead of one. With the extension piece inserted the pole saw is about 10 and a half feet long and a 6 foot person will have about a 15 foot reach. Before you get started, fill the oil reservoir to the full mark with bar and chain oil. This saw has an auto oiling system that keeps the saw chain constantly lubricated. Here I'm cutting some branches with the extension bar in the pull saw. You see, you get a lot of reach, about 10 and a half feet, plus whatever your height is. And the idea is to get the saw going first, get some RPMs up and then do your cut. That makes it work a lot better. The pull saw will easily cut about a four inch diameter branch. And so here I'm cutting a, a little bigger branch this time. It takes a little longer to cut. And now you see it has a branch removal tool on the pull saw. So you grab it and you use that branch removal tool and here it comes here it comes here. okay there it goes right there so it's got that a convenient little hook on it that you can get a branch with now i've taken the extension pole out of the tool so it's about seven feet long now gives you a little more control now you get you get this up to speed you get the rpms up and then you cut what you want it cuts really easily that way so i'm just doing some fine trimming now and you can stay away from the work with the pull saw. That's a big advantage to it. This saw has a reduced kickback guide bar and a reduced kickback chain. It has a brushless motor which can make up to 96 cuts on 4x4 pressure treated pine with a 4 amp hour battery. The tool weighs 8.4 pounds without a battery. It comes with a chain guard, which has a built-in tool for tightening the chain or removing the sprocket cover. I'll put links in my video description for the DeWalt 20 volt max pole saw, both as a kit, which includes a 4 amp hour battery and a charger, and as a bare tool. On the day I'm making this video, the bare tool costs about $149, and the kitted tool costs about $199 but please check my links for the current prices. I'll also include links for the DeWalt 20 volt max and 60 volt max chainsaws, the DeWalt 20 volt max and 60 volt max string trimmers, the DeWalt 20 volt max and 60 volt max blowers, and I'll put a link for bar and chain lubricant. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.